It is wonderful to serve you. It's a glorious thing to live our calling. And we thank you, Jesus, mm. for giving us great visions and great plans and strategies. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have taken over. Zero seven five seven five eighty eight eight one seven eight one seven. Hallelujah. Today we are going into prophetic screen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So prepare your call. But before that, let, let me read a story, a little story about uh, from this book by by Miles Munro. Hallelujah. Because we are discussing on the topic of purpose. Thank Hallelujah. Jesus. The highest form of slavery mm. is for you not to leave your calling mm -hmm. or your purpose. Questions of why am I in this world? Questions of who created me? What is my purpose in this world? Hallelujah. Is asked by the rich, mm -hmm. the young, the small, and everybody, including the poor in this mm. world. Doesn't matter how rich somebody is. It doesn't matter how poor somebody is. As long as you are not pursuing a purpose, your calling in life. It doesn't matter how you package yourself mm. career wise. You need to find your purpose. She kind of glory manifestations ministry. It's a ministry with purpose. Okay, it's Jesus. a ministry with the highest vision. God gave us the highest vision. There goes the Holy Spirit. The ghost. I see a great network from heaven. Hallelujah. Network from heaven. Hallelujah. Networking Hallelujah. to humanity. Mm. I see stars and stars today. Mm. I see stars that will shine. Thank you, Jesus. I see the Lord Jesus Christ mm. as the bright morning star Hallelujah. conquering every form of stars of darkness. The Satan cannot prevail. Jesus. Where the Lamb of God Hallelujah. is. Oh, thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. The bright morning star has taken over. The bright morning star has taken over. Take over. And I see the lion of the tribe of Jesus. Judah has taken over. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I see the lion of the tribe of, of Judah. The lion of the tribe of the lion of the tribe of Judah has taken over. And the Elohim, the Trinity, is in full control. Hallelujah. The high care of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit mm. has taken over. No principalities, no powers of darkness, no obstacles will mm. stand mm. against the Elohim, ah, the creator of everything within and without. Yes. You have taken over. Hallelujah. 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 I just want us to relax a little bit. Amen. And we share this story. Thank you, Jesus. Before we receive your course, and we are going to read this story. Tune into this story. It's a very powerful story. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. The, book, the book is In Pursuit of Purpose yes. by Miles Monroe. Okay. Amen. Wonderful. I start? Introduction, yes. Hallelujah. Introduction. Mm. Let me go. Please let me die. Let me go. Please let me die. Sob the that is the beginning of the story. That's what it starts. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Let me go. Let me go. Please let me die. Yes. Uh -huh. Sobbed the frail old gen gentleman as the strong young swimmer. Who was sobbing? The A frail gentleman. Yes, old. An gentleman. old gentleman was yes. crying. Yes. Let me go. Let me alone. Let me die. Let me die. Let me die. Hiya. Sobbed the frail old gentleman uh -huh. as the strong young swimmer struggled against the boisterous waves of the open sea. Uh -huh. Just a few more minutes, sir, and I will have you safely safely to show. Who was saying? The young man. The young man was saying, please, a few more minutes. A few more minutes, A sir. few more minutes, and I will, I will carry you. Safely to show. Safely to the show. Yes. Where were they? They were in the, in the water. In the ocean. In the sea, yes. And it is an old man who wanted to commit to suicide. Yes. And so the young man was trying to rescue the old man. Yes. And the old man was saying, please let me go. Let me go. Why are you rescuing me? Please let me die. Leave me to die. Let me die. Who is this old man? Mm. Continue. And this is a true life story. A true life story. Uh -huh. Finally, they made it to the beach. And yeah. both fell desperately exhausted on the onto the sand. <laughs> Very exhausted. 
Yes. It must be this old man went to the deepest part of the ocean mm. and threw himself inside. Yes. And wanting to die completely. Mm. But this old man, this the, the, the young man was running along the, be the, the beach and so and so he ran rescuing him. Yes. And so they were very exhausted. Yes. Uh-huh. Why did you save me? Why did you save me? Cried the angry 76-year-old man. Yes, now talk like the old man. <laughs> Why didn't you let me die? <laughs> Is that deep enough? Yes. Why didn't Why did you, you let, let me die? Yes. Your good deed is the curse of my existence. I just want you to go to the spirit of that old man. Mm. The old man wanted to die. Yes. But somebody rescued him. Yes. And he, and he was so disgusted. And, 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 and assume now talk with the tone of the old man. Why did you save me? Why <laughs> the angry 76 year old man? Why didn't you let me die? Okay. Yeah? Uh -huh. Yes. Your good deed is the curse of my existence. Yeah. Uh -huh. Startled by these words, yes. the young man looked down at the older man who had nearly drowned. Shocked. In Kiswahili. Ali pigwa na Kustuka. Ali stuka. Aka shanga. Yes. Uh -huh. Onini ali shanga. Yandele. As he panted from the heroic effort of rescuing the victim from the violent waves. Yes. He shook his head. And today his story will change you. A little bit of the story. Mm -hmm. Before you call. Uh -huh. As he panted from the heroic effort of rescuing the victim from the violent waves. And you know the old man was is, is a, a billionaire, a multi trillionaire but he wanted to die and disappear mm. uh -huh, continue he shook his head revealing the shock and the mystif and the mystification that filled his mind and i hear some of you watching saying i that is not my story that is not my story listen this is this was a very fulfilled tycoon mm. very rich old man mm. very rich old man mm. That was not living a life of purpose. Mm. He was a tycoon and he did everything. Mm. He helped the poor, raised, and I mean raised and helped the people in the society. Mm. But why is he after death? Mm -hmm. he, why is there emptiness mm. in his life? Mm. Because many people are living lives, lives that have not the purpose of God, divine calling. So life without purpose is greatest slavery. Mm. The greatest slavery. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And if you are in Shekinah glory last Sunday, it was the most exciting thing. Mm. Because we were taken back to what is slavery? Mm. And, and where did it originate from? Mm. And who is the originator of slavery? Mm. And we found out that slavery, the originator of slavery, the mastermind mm. of slavery is Satan himself. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue reading the story. Hallelujah. Winston had known Mr. Cambridge for 20 years. Hallelujah. He had always admired the hardworking businessman mm -hmm. for his success. To him, Mr. Cambridge was a role model that embodied all he hoped to be someday. Mm -hmm. Having worked all his life to achieve the status of being the wealthiest man in the city, yes. Mr. Cambridge owned millions of dollars worth Hallelujah. of investments and an enviable mans mansion on the beachfront. Mm -hmm. He was the father of three well-educated children yes. who all worked in his companies and the husband of a woman who loved him. Yes. Hundreds of friends. Very successful, very successful businessman. Tycoon. Very successful investor. Father. Yes. Very successful husband. husband. Mm -hmm. Very successful investor. Amen. But why did he want to die? Mm. Listen to the story. We are almost finishing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of friends, relatives, and admirers look to him for inspiration and guidance. Okay. Perplexed by the desperation disparity between his observations of Mr. Cambridge's life yes. and the gentleman's desire to die, mm. Winston asked, but sir, why do you want to die? 
He's asking the tycoon, yes. the millionaire, yes. the very successful man. Yes. I mean, the envy of the society. Yes. The envy of the town. Yes. A trillionaire. Yes. Great trillionaire. Yes. But very successful family. Mm -hmm. Very successful businesses. Yes. He wanted to die. Mm -hmm. And Winston, a sportsman, is asking him, why did you want to die, sir? Hallelujah. Yes. Keep reading. Little did Winston know that the answer to this question would change his life forever. The answer to that question. Yes. Would Powerful. change his life forever. Hallelujah. It may change yours. Listen. Well. Skills will not fulfill you. Talents will not fulfill you. Mm. They would have fulfilled Michael Jackson. Yes. But the greatest, the greatest thing that God created you for mm. will always fulfill you. Hallelujah. Purpose Hallelujah. will fulfill you. you Keep on reading. As tears flooded his aged eyes, okay. the old man buried his face in his hands and lamented. What was it all for? All mm. this, all, all what, what oh. is all this for? All these riches. Is this all there what did I gain? I have everything and yet nothing. Everything. Not only mansionettes. Yes. Great buildings. He had millions and trillions of money. And there is nothing he gained. Mm. His life was always empty. Yes. Keep reading. What was it all for? And he was a good man. Is this all there is? Okay. What did I gain? Okay. I have everything and okay. yet nothing. Yes. Everyone thinks I am a success. Imagine. But I am a failure. Yes. Everyone thinks he's a successful businessman, a successful father. Yes. He has it all round. Yes. Everything rotates around him. Yes. And everybody wanted to be like this old man. Yes. Very successful. Yes. What a role model. Yes. What a role model. Mm -hmm. According to Jeff <laughs> Koinange. Mm. What a role model. Mm. Uh -huh. Continue. I have given everything and mm. received nothing. Nothing completely. I made my parents happy and proud of me. Okay. And my wife has everything she could desire. Mm -hmm. My children want for nothing. The children were very successful. Yes. Uh -huh. And my reputation among my friends, associates, and enemies is impressive. Yes. Still, I am empty. Very empty. Depressed. Depressed. Frustrated. Frustrated. And sad. Okay. My life has no meaning. Yes. Unlike my bank accounts. Yes. Which are well filled. Yes. I am unfulfilled. And like King Solomon said, vanity, vanity of vanities. All is vanity. And all is vanity. vanity. Mm. Meaningless mm -hmm. after researching on wisdom. Of all humanity, wisdom and wisdom. Everything at the end of it, he called it vanity. 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 Keep on reading. Everyone knows what I am. Okay. But I still don't know why I am. Yes. For years, I've been so driven by the expectation of others uh -huh. that I have not discovered my personal reason yes. for being. Yes. I do not wish to live with such emptiness. Okay. Today, I decided it was better to be dead than to be alive and not know why. Yes. These words... And this is a life story, yes. a true life story. Mm -hmm. What were people expecting? The comments, the praises, everything. Oh, you're doing very well. We want to be like you. All those things. A great businessman, mm. a great father, a great husband, yes. with great children mm. and great things. Mm. Yet, he was not fulfilled. Mm -mm. Purpose. Mm. Purpose will give you satisfaction. Amen. Not your riches, Amen. not your talents, Amen. not your professionalism. Amen. Aside with that, yes. don't leave them. Aside with your businesses and yes. all those things, yes. there is something that you are created to do. Mm. It doesn't matter how big, how great, how the riches and materials overwhelm you mm -hmm. until you find purpose. until you find this golden thing My purpose. until you find this treasure mm -hmm. it is not easy to find your babas mm -hmm. it's not easy to find your babas mm -hmm. you always must have divine connections Hallelujah. glory to the lamb of god Amen. continue 
Hallelujah. Yes. These words pierced the younger man's soul. Yes. As he attempted to regain his composure. Okay. The old man took his hand. Yes. Looked into his eyes with a soul searching gaze and said, Yeah. Son, yeah. do not strive to be like me. Son, do not strive to be like me. Yes. Very successful businessman, mm -hmm. very successful husband, very successful, I mean, power to reckon with in the society. Uh -huh. What is success for you? Yes. What is success for you? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, what mm -hmm. is success? Mm -hmm. How do people divine success mm -hmm. when somebody says they are very successful? Mm -hmm. What do they mean? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Success means different things to people. Mm. Some would view success as, ve as, as very successful in career, professionalism, yes. I mean talents, yeah. skills, but the majority of people in this world, mm. a few success in times of opulence, of materialism, mm. riches and wealth. Yes. And when people have riches and wealth, that is what they see as success. Yes. But do they reach also cry? Mm. They cry. They the richest nation in the world, America, they say they are the saddest. Mm. Research has found that the richest, the richest nation in the world, mm. they are the saddest. Mm. Amongst other little, little other nations, they are bound that the richest nation is a saddest hmm. chasing after dollars and dollars and the money is in great numbers hmm. continue reading we are almost there find out who you are find and, out who you are yourself find out who you are now hold it there let's go to the word of god mm -hmm. Let's go to the word of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God. Yes. The book of Matthew. I mean Luke chapter 15. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Luke ch chapter 15. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And verse 8 it says, Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins mm. and loses one. Let's assume that person is you. Yes. Why did Jesus give an example of a woman? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not only one example. It's, it's for you to find the kingdom of God, you have found treasure. Mm. Hallelujah. For you to find your divine calling, you have found treasure. Mm. And treasure that cannot be measured. Mm. For you to have found and to have researched and found who you are in life, you have found great treasure. Mm. Praise the Lord. Or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Africa. So suppose Africa loses one nation. Is it enough to be an Africa? No. It is Africa minus one. Why is this one coin, silver coin, very critical? In the same chapter, it talks of suppose... I mean, verse, verse 3 says, Then Jesus told the, 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 then this parable, mm -hmm. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep yes. and loses one of them. Yes. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? Why must you find the one percent of your life that is not there? Why? That one percent is what you were created for. That one percent. That one silver, silver, silver coin is what you created for, of Africa, oh church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until you find that one percent, you can never find happiness. Your joy will come, will become complete. If you find this one percent, you say, woman of God, what is the use of finding this one percent? Mm -hmm. That one percent is all that you need. 1% is all that you need. But is it easy to find? No, it's not easy. It is not easy. According to the Lamb of God, yes. Jesus Christ, the greatest teacher that lived a happy life. A happy life. The greatest man that lived a happy life. A joyful life is the Lord of Lords, a King of Kings. Mm -hmm. It is described, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You, Jesus. Until you have this manner of lifestyle, mm -hmm. of purpose, you created for a purpose. Why was Jesus created? I don't know. All I know that he came into this world. He came into this world to conquer sin. To create one altar of Calvary to conquer sin. Hallelujah. And the one that one altar of Calvary is speaking one thing, the blood of the Lamb. Blood of the blood of Jesus. 
And because of the blood of Jesus Christ, you are being rescued from the bottomless pit where the enemy has dark duty. And according to Miles Munro, graves have the richest, the richest, the richest, unsearchable glories, unsearchable lost glories are in graves. I speak to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Even if you are poor like what, unless you find that created thing, that divine purpose, you will never be happy. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how opulent, how you have accumulated the riches of this world. Thank God for the dollars. You, I love money. Yes. I love money so much. But it has never given me satisfaction and happiness. Yeah. What is your purpose? Mm. Why are you in this world? Mm. Why were you created? Mm. The rich, the poor, the, the well-educated, the monks, those that are in monastery. Mm. And everybody is asking themselves this question. Until you ask yourself that question, you will not find the answers. The Bible says, search, search. You have to go and search. You have to go for and look for that one silver coin. You have to find out why, where is that 1% of the 99? Let me shock you. America has put many humanities in great, great slavery. Many people from all nations go to America and they don't come back. Why? Because the land of America is slavery by itself. And when people go there, they go there and they remain, then they become slaver, slaves and slaves and slaves. What they created to be slaves? No. No. If you look at the olden slaves, the way the slavery came, came about, I was asking people in this time, what is the word nigger? Where did the word negro or nigger came from? How did it originate? Yes. And they say from the whites. And I say, no, mm -hmm. the mastermind was Satan, Lucifer himself. Why was he enslaving Africans? Mm -hmm. Because Satan knew that from Africa, will be salvation will be great salvation that will go to all the continents africa africa you were created to save other continents and you certain said what will i do just as he planned orchestrated so much to bring down the lord jesus christ a certain thought that by destroying the Lamb of God and bringing him to the cross and nailing him, he was going to defeat yes. the Lamb of God. Yes. Higher yes. every day, every moment mm -hmm. of my life, mm -hmm. including this day. Mm -hmm. I hear him speaking, servant, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light. Many people have not known him as the way. Mm -hmm. Many people have not known him as the light. Mm. Many people have not known him mm. as the truth. Mm. I have seen him as the light. Mm. I've led and I'm like Jesus. Hallelujah. I am now getting you why you always tell me you are the light. Mm. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Mm. Listen to the Holy Spirit. You have tuned in by the power of the Holy Ghost you, Holy this Jesus. very day. Thank you, Jesus. Purpose is what you're created for. Enough of your rigidity. Mm -hmm. There are many churches that are so rigid, constraining the reality of the power mm -hmm. of the supernatural God. Mm -hmm. Get out of those churches. Mm -hmm. Get out of your being. You were created to be a supernatural being, mm -hmm. a flexible being, to do what God created you to do in this world. Enough of those rigidity. Mm -hmm. You have been so rigid with your life that hey, this is what the Bible is saying. This is what the Bible says. Which Bible? Bible is mystery. Until you are, you have known the supernatural or see a glimpse of the mystery, you will still think you know the Bible. And I always say, you don't know the Bible. Because what comes out of the Bible feels all over the calyx, feels all over the world. You can never divine the mind of God. God created you for a purpose. Listen, I went to a conference that were many learned people and doctors and professors. And I would hear titles and titles and titles, titles, until one great man just came out and say, what Africa needs is the Ark of the Covenant. And I almost fell down. Why? Because the reality of the Ark of the Covenant is in me. And it is in the chosen people. And, and I had, and they were the highest peak of the conference or question was like, how can we solve the, the, the highest 
problem that Africa is uh, is facing. How can we redeem the land of Africa? And I was like, Jesus, for the last four years, you we have been redeeming the land of Africa. Soil, we have been praying the soil of our nation. Soil for Africa. Yes. Soil for international. Mm -hmm. And God commanded us to do these things. And people have been saved and delivered. And yes. this is not a gospel of Mbekumbeku. This is not a gospel of Mbekumbeku. Mm -hmm. Because as in Shekinah glory, God has called us as professional bodies. Professional bodies. Well, learn it a little bit, hallelujah. Because me, I had and I saw somebody packaged uh, I a CV very well. And I said, Lord, oh my, my God, I just have a, a, just a little bit of that. Glory to the Lamb of God. Mm. And what they, what they were discussing, and if we find out that we were a little bit advanced, why were we we'll be with advanced? Not with skills, not with career, not with riches, not with philosophy, not with all the mind. And everything to do with books, not with the research and the all the methodologies. We were a little bit ahead and greatly ahead of them. Yes, yes. We were ahead of them. Why? Because we were having one thing mm. and one anointing and mm. one power called the glory of God. Glory the Shekinah God. glory. Yes. The reality of the Ark of the Covenant. Mm. This is the reality of the mm. throne of mercy and grace mm. packaged in us. And we were a, so much ahead of them. We may not have the terminologies, thank yes, God for the terminologies, yes. the education, yes. and the terminologies, yes. but we had it. In four years, we have been praying for the soil of our nation, mm -hmm. soil for redeeming people's lives until of late the Lord told us, now for Kenyans, you can reach everywhere. Come Distance on. will never be a barrier. Hallelujah. And so what was the solution? They say the Ark of the Covenant is in Africa. But what do we do with it? Yes. Because if you are not going to work out the agenda of God, of the Ark of the Covenant in Africa, it is going to move to another continent. And so certain orchestrated slavery, physical slavery that people are studying in history, mm -hmm. and spiritual slavery that is already and yoking so many lives. An example. Bitterness is the greatest slavery Come you on. can have. Come on. And forgiveness is the greatest slavery. Slavery you can have. And so when you're searching for your life, searching for why you are created in this world, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One thing you will get off, rid of is slavery. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So Africans were enslaved mm. by the enemy, yoked by the enemy. And the land of USA is being yoked up to now. Mm. I ask one woman who is a woman that saying she went there and in the night people sleep and the yoke of the enemy is on people, is on houses, mm. is everywhere. Yes. And say so if you're sleep spiritually a lot, you will not be eating. Yeah. Because she came and I was like, hi, prophetess. Umekonda. What is happening? Say, hi, woman of God. There is no way you're going to live, to eat in that nation. Mm. When you're seeing the kind of slavery that is in that nation. Mm. Africa. You're being waited for to go and redeem your brothers and sisters Hallelujah. that are in bondage. Come on. Africa, you're being waited for wow. in all the continents. And the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to me and say, Africa is being waited for. We will not let the Ark of the Covenant get out of Africa. Amen. It is already in Africa. Amen. The physical Ark of the Covenant Hallelujah. already is in Africa. Yes. And the spiritual Ark of the Covenant is in Africa. Hey. It is in our life. Hey. The presence of God Thank is you. all that we need yes. to conquer. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. And to live our God-living purposes. Mandate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, what the story about Miles Munro that they, we are reading, yes. and the old man say, young man, mm -hmm. you've got to find, read it a little bit. Find out who find you out are. Who you are. And be yourself. And be yourself. Yes. Find out who you are and be yourself. Yes. Don't imitate. Don't imitate. Don't be a copycat. Come on. Everybody was created unique. Come on. Your yes. star so cannot be my star. Mm. Nobody will leave your purpose. Yes. If you will not leave your purpose, it is going to the grave mm. with you. Mm. Nobody 
can have the same purpose with another person, even if you are identical twins. Yes. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is why our fingerprints are different. is different. Yes. You can never have the same fingerprints. Come on. I am talking to you. Yes. Purpose is now. Thank you, Lord. And your purpose is calling for you. Mm. Until you find that thing that you are created for, mm. you will never be happy. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. I know you're calling. I mean, people are calling. They want to be prophesied. But listen to me, my brother, my sister. Shekinah Glory Manifestations Ministry has been given this mandate. Thank not you, Lord. because we are very learned. No. No. The Lord wants us to pursue in the month of, of, of March. Of March. Yes. And in the month of April. April. We will pursue this. Open and heavens. we will impact. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until you get divine connections, mm. you will not get your purpose very well. Come on. Divine purposes comes through divine connections. Thank you, Lord. Hello. Hello. And for Isaac, there was his spiritual father and the physical father. His name was Abraham. Mm. And that is why God changed his name from Abraham to Abra Abraham. Abraham to Abraham. Ham. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And for Sarah, her divine purpose and connection was the husband. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Her name was changed from Sarai uh -huh. to Sarah. Sarah. Until God changes your name mm. spiritually, there is no purpose in your life. Mm. Glory to the Lamb of wow, God. Wow, come on. And for Jacob, until he fought with God and said, and will not leave you until you bless, bless me. me. And he was blessed with one thing, uh -huh. his divine purpose. Come on. Jesus, hey, the son amen, of the living God. Amen. He was blessed with one thing. Mm. He said, "He was, oh, what is your name?" He said, "Jacob." Mm -hmm. His name means a liar. Trickster. His name means a trickster. Yes. His name means a con man, deceiver, a thief. Yes, as a thief. Yes, a burglar or whatever. All yes. those things. Yes, yes, deceiver. In a nutshell, the name Jacob meant Lucifer. Mm. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. He meant Lucifer, the character of Lucifer. Come How on. was he going to be blessed? Hello. Yes, with that until kind of character. Until you fulfill, until you are meant to pursue your purpose. Find out. Dangerous. Yes. Find out who you, you are, are and, and, be and, and be yourself. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will not let you go. Until you bless, bless me, me, Almighty God, I, I will fight with you. Yes, I will fight with you. Lord. And he fought with God. Yes, his name was changed from Jacob to who? Israel. Israel means a prince, and prince always must have a kingly anointing. Hallelujah. He was told, Jacob. Yes, you are not a thief. Yes, you are not created to be a thief. Amen. Jacob, you were not created as a con man. Hey. You were not created as a loser. Yes, you were not a failure. Yes, from the Time go. This is who your star is. Yes. But Satan. Yes. Satan. Yes. Covered your star. Yes. Africa. Yes. You were not created to be a dark continent. Hallelujah. You were not created to be a laughing stock. Yes. You are not created to be a poor continent. But oh, Africa. You were created to be rich. Jacob. You from the first time when God created you, He created you. A man with a great stars. Hallelujah. You are a prince. Thank you, Jesus. Ha! Amen. You are a Amen. prince. Amen. What is a prince? A king. king. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Are you listening? Everybody that has tuned in today, listen. This is what the Spirit of God says. He has made sure you, you're tuned in today because there is a kingly anointing that the Almighty God is going to uncover and reveal and Satan will not prevail. Darkness will not prevail over that kingly anointing. Amen! And so, Amen. who is Amen. the mastermind? Why are you a failure? Satan. Nobody else to be blamed. And so, Jacob, you are not supposed to be called after the character of Lucifer. You are not supposed to be created to be a failure. You were not supposed to be created to run from helter skelter. Your name was not cast from the word God. Mm -hmm. Jacob, as a matter of fact, when you were born and before you were born and before the world was created and predestined, you. you were a great star. Yes. Hey, hey, you were a great, a great star. Thank you, Jesus. And this star cannot be compared. Yes. Hallelujah. To Hallelujah. The Listen, Jacob. From today, your name has been changed into Israel. It means 
a prince. Israel means a chosen one. Mm. And out of you, out of your lineage, oh Cheko, Hallelujah. will be great star. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Out of your lineage, lineage will be great stars, stars and stars. Yes. Listen, you are tuned in today. Yes. Because Satan wanted you to be a failure. Satan uh -huh. wanted you to make time. Yes. Satan wanted you to be poor. Yes. But Africa. Yes. Africa. 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 Satan put us into slavery. Not yes. only physical slavery, yes. but bondage. Mm. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the, name of the Jesus. son of the living God, Come on. you were created a star of Africa. Mm. You didn't hear. Mm. In the Kenyans, you were created stars Thank and stars and Come stars. On. Come on. And Satan must let your stars shine. Yes. Let us go. When Let heaven go. looks at you, they look at stars. Mm -hmm. When Satan looks at you, they look at stars. They don't see the physical body. Mm. Oh, <laughs> come come on. on. Thank you. Come on, come on. They look at glorious stars. Hallelujah to the Lamb Hallelujah. of God. When principalities look at you, they look at glorious stars. Yes. Wherever you go to a place, normally I tell the Lord, hide even my angels. Yes. I am going as your blood. Yes. Hide even my angels. That they may not see me. But when I look and my God opens my spiritual eyes, the devils and the demons are looking for the star mm. that is shining in me. Yes. The great light of God. Jesus Christ, the light of the universe, is known as the bright, bright morning, star. morning star. The bright morning, morning star. star. And out of him, in the book of John chapter 1, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This light lights the whole world. Come on. It lights you. Yes. And you also as are, are, a star. are a star from the light of the great morning, morning star. star. Satan has nothing to do with you Amen. apart from one thing mm -hmm. to quench that light, mm. to destroy that light. Mm. That is the worst and the biggest mm. purpose of Satan. Mm. To make sure that light that is in you mm. is extinguished, is destroyed. That is why always you will hear his voice. Servant, child, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the light of the world. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Where is your star? Mm. How is your star? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are created, and you are created as a star. And clearly you find that one person, which is your star. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That one person is your star. Okay. That one silver coin is the star. Yes. Like you and me, I have underestimated this story and this parable of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the ten silver coins. Until I understood, oh my God, that one silver coin is very critical, yes. is very important. Hallelujah. Because at the end of it, the woman will call her neighbors, yes. he will call everybody, yes. he will call the whole world, Imagine. and he will say, I am, come and celebrate with me. Hallelujah. He will testify of God's goodness, Hallelujah. testify of good mercy, come on. that I have found value. Hallelujah. I have found purpose. Amen. I have found the sense, Amen. the of sense life. of life. Hallelujah. Why am I in this world? I was and I am born. celebrating mm. because I am touching lives. I am touching nations. Mm. I am changing humanity. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb Woo. of God. Purpose is what you're called. Can you read a little bit of the story? Continue reading the story a little bit hmm. before we go into your course. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the medics carried uh -huh. the old man away, yes, and the sound of the ambulance faded in the distance, yes, young Winston stood staring out to sea. Yes, he was the medics. The medics came for the the old man, the wealthy man, the wealthy man, the yes. tycoon, the trillionaire, and they carried him away. And they carried him away because she wanted to kill himself. Yes, and now the yes. ambulances yes. was rescuing him. Yes. But he, before he went, yes, he told this man, "Find out who you are. Find out who you are, and be yourself." And be yourself. Yes. Glory to the Lamb of Hallelujah. God. Don't be a copycat. Mm. Don't be so and so. Mm. Don't admire somebody's anointing. Mm. You were created. You were created to conquer life. You were created, oh Africa. Yes. You were created of Africa. Mm. America is waiting. Come on. The land is enslaving our people. Mm. That land must be redeemed. Yes. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. America. America. Mm. America is waiting for you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Africa. 
Africa, Africa, you will save continents. Africa, Africa you will save the world. Amen. It is biblical. It is going to happen. I am one person mm -hmm. God is using Hallelujah. to touch continents. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In distance is not a barrier. Distance, no, you were created, O oh, Africa, yes. to shine for the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. And shining, we will shine. Yes. Because the ark of the covenant will not go to another ne other continents. This Africa mm. is the last continent the last that will impact the world. Come on. It is going to bring revival. revival. And revival Amen. is nothing but letting the lights of humanity shine. Mm. Awakening. The stars Awakening. of people, yes. the stars Awakening. of great men, Amen. the stars of the Jacobs, Amen. the stars. Awakening. Hallelujah to the Lamb of yes. God. They will shine. Amen. Oh, Africa for Hallelujah. Jesus. Keep on reading. Thank you. I Lord. love this story. Winston Hallelujah. stood staring out to the sea. Yes. He was not really aware of his surroundings. Yes. For the old man's words yes. had stirred him deeply. Yes. Who am I? Uh -huh. What does it mean to be myself? Glory to the Lamb of God. in his brain. Yes. These questions, who am I? Who am I? Why am I here? Why am I here? Where did I come from? Where did I come from? What was I born to do? Ha! What can I do? Hey. Where do I fit? Hallelujah. Why am I different? Yes. What is my potential? What is why my potential? Why, where am I going? Yes. Why did I come to this planet? Eh. Are universal questions yes. that haunt every human being. In Kiswahili. Yes. In Kiswahili. Haya ndiyo maswali. Eh. Ambayo yako kwa mafikra za kila binadamu. Swali la kwanza. Yes. Mimi ni nani? Eh. Mbona nilizaliwa? Hallelujah. Nilitoka wapi? Hallelujah. Nimezaliwa kwa nini? Aleluya. Naweza fanya nini kwa hii dunia? Ehe. Maswali mm. haya. Yes. Yanaulishwa na kila binadamu. Kila binadamu. Yes. Tajiri kwa wamaskini. Wa yes. yes. Kila mtu anauliza hiyo swali. Mm. Endelea. These are universal questions mm. that are in every human being. Glory to Jesus. Each of us must find the answers Amen. to these questions of purpose. Yes. If we, if we are going to enjoy a meaningful Mm. effective fulfilling life hallelujah listen mm. you will be condemned listen don't take it lightly you will be surely condemned you will face judgment mm. if you ignore your purpose because God created all of us as stars and gave us talents mm. and those talents must multiply mm. if they will not multiply yeah. we will be condemned we will yes. face judgment wow. we'll give an account because I see us People saying, what is the use one of God? Of purpose. It's useless. Yes. It's useless. Yes. What are you telling us? Yes. Ah, it's useless. Listen, you will face judgment. Let yes. me tell you. Yes. When the son of the living God, the glorious lamb of God, will one day judge the world, and this is what I saw. I say, Lord, and how will that be? It's going to be terrible. Mm. Because he is going to come as a judge without wow. mercy. Mm. The throne of mercy has two mm -hmm. things. Yes. It has a throne. It carries a half of it is yes. judgment mm -hmm. and half of it is mercy. Yes. But when Jesus will appear to judge the world, it is going to be the church. It is going to judge without mercy, mm. including those that are listening now. You were created for a purpose and this purpose is within you. Mm. All you need is to find out. How do you find out? Mm. Look at the parable. Mm. The woman swept the house. Mm -hmm. There are things that you will sweep in your house. Mm. There, are li there are people that you will leave for you to find the babas. Mm. Bitterness will be swept out of your house. You, may, you must clean your house. Mm -hmm. First of all, you sweep the house. Yes. But before you sweep the house, you must light a lamp. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And who is a lamp? The creator of the universe. The word of God is your lamp. And so, it is only the word of God that will fulfill and will give you a sense of living, a sense of, of great purpose in this life. Mm. Number two, you must search. That the woman searched very seriously. First of all, he searched, he swept, he searched. Purpose is the key to life. Hallelujah. Without purpose, life has no meaning. Life has no meaning. There are millions today just like Mr. Cambridge. Yes. They are busy making a living. Uh -huh. But they experience very little of life. Yes. If your goal in life is to be wealthy so you can retire, you have embarked on a depressing journey to nowhere. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. If your vision for life is measured by status, your upkeep will be your downfall. Yes. Vision is buried in purpose. Hallelujah. Without knowledge of purpose, life becomes an endless string of activities with little or no significance. Glory to Jesus Christ. Like a rider on a rocking horse. Yes. Life without purpose makes much more motion but no progress. Meaningless. So you're busy but no progress. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus loves you. Mm. What is the ultimate solution? The presence of God. Hallelujah. And therefore the presence of God must have the throne of mercy and grace. Mm. We will cry. Mm. The whole mantle of mercy is in merited favor Unmerited. from the throne of mercy and grace. Hallelujah. It will never fail you. Mm. If you are going to cry to God sincerely with all faithfulness, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Ukora, God is going to give you mercy. Mm. I will cry for mercy. Amen. I must find him. Mm. And that is why you find kingly anointed people in the Bible. King David cried for nothing else mm. apart from mercy. Mm. Every now and then, have mercy on me, O oh Lord. Yes, yes, Remember Lord. me. Yeah. Remember me. Why? Why was she crying for mercy? Mm. Because the throne of mercy and grace is 24-7 available for you. Like now, we are already in the throne of mercy and grace. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is living. Amen. The word of God is active. Yes. Jesus Christ is his word. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Already we are in the throne of mercy and grace. Mm. It will never follow. It will never fail us. Mm. Crying for mercy has never failed in humanity. Hallelujah. Glory to the number of God. Amen. Before the grace is locked, mm. cry for mercy. Cry for mercy. Before that dreaded day, cry for mercy. That's true. Because mercy is a merited for that. Mm. It is what God Almighty sees through the blood of the Jesus blood Christ Jesus. and gives you. Yes, you deserve. And when Jesus looks at whoever is crying for mercy, mm. he will always present our cases yeah. and uh, the Ark of the Covenant uh, covenant in heaven. Mm. If somebody saw this vision, and somebody was crying for mercy so much, so mercy, and weeping for mercy, and the Lord took one tear, and he looked, took the tear and put in a bottle and, and uh, presented it in heaven. And, and where he presented it, there was this great Ark of the Covenant. And God Almighty in his Shekinah glory was inside manifesting. And Jesus cried and said, look at the tears. This is why I died for them. Hallelujah. Now, O oh Father, please answer her cry. Amen. And there was instant solution. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Like yes. this tycoon who wanted to, to die mm-hmm. but was rescued last minute. I mm-hmm. said, Lord, why did you rescue him? Because when you look at the story of this billionaire yes. or trillionaire, uh-huh. he helped the poor so much. Mm-hmm. And the poor was always crying, Lord, don't let this man cry. Mm-hmm. Don't die. let him die. Mm-hmm. And the, the, it is being described as he was a good husband, a wonderful mm-hmm. husband. Mm-hmm. So the angels of the wife always mm. would present his case to heaven. Mm. Listen, until the centurion, the centurion found the why he was created mm. and was full of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He was always working for humanity, working for humanity. Mm-hmm. But Jesus knew he missed that one percent. Mm. And what that one point, mm-hmm. that one silver coin, coin. is what Lita, they missed. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What are you missing, my brother, my missing? sister? Mm. And Lord, thank you because this month mm. is going to be a great month Hallelujah. because it's a month of mercy. Mm. The month of April, praise the mm. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Determines, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's determined by the month of March. Mm. It's a month that you are supposed to be fasting. Mm. Find partial fasting so that you can always enter through the gates of Passover. Mm. And the gates of Passover begins from fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fast April. Amen. That is why it is called Fool's day mm. why satan himself created it because it's supposed to be a wisdom day first of every when you enter the gates of first of every is very important mm. you enter as a passover material mm. so that you possess the gates of easter mm. because the gates of easter are open heavens wisdom is calling for you and me to listen to the holy spirit always thank you jesus thank you lord and in the name of the Father, the Son, you, and Jesus. the Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you because you have preached your people Thank and you. they have listened.